How's it going, gamers? And welcome back to yet another episode of Tome, the terrain of magical expertise. In the last episode, we gathered some of the oh, <laughs> remaining. Oh, I was so close. Rainbow cubes that we could collect normally throughout the game. And now, we only have two left. One is at the end of this mansion here in Luteus Labyrinth. Uh, section L, I believe, or Section M. M might make more sense just because I believe this uh, mansion has an alliterative title. Uh, M Mansion. I don't remember what the first word is, but, uh, you know. I wish I could use items while moving! Ugh. Your iframes do not start immediately after... <clears throat> you get, um... Out of the battle. It takes a second. So, these guys are able to swoop in almost immediately and fuck you up. Alright. Magic, burning burst. <laughs> Luckily, except for the fact that I missed one of my burning burst attacks. And that. Smash. I have a pretty solid strategy for taking these guys out relatively quick quickly. My controller keeps disconnecting. Like getting back to the second uh, floor, which is what we're on now. We're on the second floor. <clears throat> uh, it's taken a while because every time my controller disconnects, I need to completely close the game and then reboot it because the strategy of just getting back onto. <clears throat> big picture mode with Steam, like just clicking back onto the Steam page and then relaunching the game, but actually just hitting the play game button and it popping the screen back up. Basically what I do is I click off, back onto Steam, I hit start game, and it just usually reconnects my controller and brings the game back up, but it hasn't been working. So now I have to just like completely close the game in order to get my controller to reconnect, which is really fun. It's really great. I'm glad. I don't know what's wrong, <laughs> but something is. <clears throat> Man, the first level really is just a straight line there. This one is, um, this one's a maze. They wanted you to... They wanted you to feel like this one was a maze. Makes sense. We are still in Luteus Labyrinth. Uh, though this is a maze, not a labyrinth. In fact, everything we've done in this has been mazes and not labyrinths. A labyrinth, the goal is in the center. A maze, you are trying to get from one end to the other. But a labyrinth <coughs> has multiple, uh, can have multiple entrance points, but is typically the goal is in the center and is one entrance. Well, not typically, but that's like the, the it needs one entrance and then the goal is in the center. But there can be multiple entrances, that's why you get like, you know, hedge mazes that have like four goals that lead to the center, it's like a little park or whatever. It's a labyrinth. Uh... <coughs> the Minotaur didn't get stuck in a fucking labyrinth for you to... <laughs> the grandson of Minos. Right? Minos was the king whose daughter had sex with the bull, right? Or was he just from Minos? Or was Minos the place? God damn it. 
I need to play, speaking of which... Um... I need to play Hades. Because I was a huge Percy Jackson kid. <laughs> a huge, like, Greek mythology kid. Uh... Evident by the fact that I can't even fucking recall details of the Minotaur myth, but I remember it's a labyrinth. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I like Greek mythology. I like sexy people, and damn near everybody in that game is sexy, especially the Minotaur. Oh boy. And he's a soft boy. He's soft. For what... For what little, like, dialogue I've seen on Twitter. Little spoilers I've gotten. Softboy Minotaur. Ugh, I love him. I've never played the game. <coughs> and, like, isn't he also, like, partnered up with the dude? God, it, it's shown so long how, how long it's been since I've actually, like, read anything related to Greek mythology. Uh, <laughs> um, I should get like a book, like one of those books you get at um, fucking Books a Million that's like, oh, entire uh, mythology right here, ha 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 Except they tricked you and it's the Christianized version of it. That happened to me once. It was like talking about Jesus and stuff and I was like, I came here looking for stuff about Danu. Uh, I don't, I don't know what, what, what God's got to do with all this, but whatever. <laughs> uh, Danu's the only goddess uh, in this mythology, kind of. <coughs> Talk about Danu are technically gods too, but they're. more just like they're more similar to heroes from like Smash. other mythologies if all the heroes in other mythologies were like kings and queens and shit like that Smash. it's weird it, it, it's it's a weird distinction to make because uh, <clears throat> they're godly but We're talking about labyrinths here. We're not talking about Celtic mythology. All right, items. Let a spark. <clears throat> As your fruit. All right. What's in here? More treasure. Magic minus. Oh boy. Uh, stop it. All right. Um, okay, so, I'm assuming this one's going to be, like, up in the top left. Fun. I guess technically top middle corner, <coughs> because of how the square is oriented. Snipe. These guys are getting... Higher defense. Um, Doing slightly less damage to him. Uh, Alright. <clears throat> Alright, sweet. I'm assuming it's gonna be up to. Top middle. Straight shot up, but we gotta get around. I really wish it was easier to juke these guys. It seems like they could just teleport in front of me. So when they go into shadow. I thought when they went into shadow, it was more like they got like a speed boost or they were just invisible. But no, they just teleport in front of you. Uh, which makes them impossible. Nearly to avoid. <clears throat> Alright. 
<laughs> Stop! Oh. All right. Uh, mana shine. Just bring us back to full. The thing is, like, sometimes these guys do infernal da or these guys do natural damage, which means they do a lot less. But I have no choice but to block because if I don't, and then I might get hit with ice. So I can't run that risk, but if they hit me with natural, then I'm better off not blocking. Um, but it's impossible to know. <clears throat> I wish their different attacks, like their four different attacks, just were each associated with a different element. So it would be a little bit easier to predict. But it's a random <clears throat> attack, random element each time. Oh! God, that this it's just so long that I have to sit there holding it in nice. place. Okay. I'm gonna punch. Um. Alright. Burning burst. Hey baby, look at that! Uh, <coughs> fuck you. Get fucked. Uh, Alright. I didn't even see that guy. Okay. Magic. Uh, or items, I mean. Uh, we, yeah, need health. Fun. And a shine. It would be cool if there was a little bit more variety here, seeing as the whole goal of this is kind of to get a mystery cube. I think. I might be wrong. Maybe there is a, a another goal here. I'm only here for the rainbow cube, but there might be <coughs> something out, else out there waiting for me. Okay. Smash. So if I am perfect on my timing with Burning Burst, like as soon as it turns yellow, I can go. Uh, I can get four. I can get four attacks off. Um, I don't really see the reason to let it get to the green. You would think the green would be best, but when you let it get to green, you can do like two or three, and it really doesn't make up for any of the damage that you lose. You're really just better off firing off a bunch of low level shots. There is no point to ever, ever do the full charge to for any of these styles of attacks. I've, I've found it, it's kind of weird. Um. And we've done it! We've done it. Look at us. Oh, fuck yeah. Reaching Zen times one? Hell yeah, now we got three, baby! We got three! Oh, oh now this one's in the la middle. It's a labyrinth! The final... Uh, this might be the final layer, I don't know. I think there was four floors. I think that's what I predicted last episode. I did not check again this time. No, this would be... <clears throat> yes, this is four, floor four. I was trying to think, I was like, wait, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is floor... <laughs> maybe this is floor four. But, or maybe this... I was like, maybe this is floor five. But no, it's not. 
All right, magic, or not magic, items. Just takes so much mana. <laughs> Fun. Ah, burning burst. Yeah. Yeah. But this one's elaborate, cause it's in the middle. Ah! Oh, fucking pillars! You. Oh, juked! Get juked! Oh, motherfucker! Ah. I still stay firm in my assessment that that should have been incredible. <laughs> if they're perfectly lined up, or maybe even again. There was just a little green segment in there. I think there's a few things with this system that could be tweaked slightly. And who knows, if we ever get a sequel, I don't know how this game moves off. But if there was ever room for a sequel to the terrain of magical expertise. <clears throat> then we could see uh, some changes. Fun. Part of me still does kind of wish this was a sequel to the original series instead of just like a retelling. Or not, uh, not retelling, it's a it's a whole new It's a new story. It's a whole new story. But I would have liked to see kind of where things went after. I know the web series didn't really leave much room for things to change. Ah! Oh. Or for more story after that. I mean, I mean, it kind of did. Everybody was still there. Except for one. The one person who had, like, so kind of a fucking shit ending, uh, that was kind of undeserved. Uh, because... Um. Of certain circumstances, making that they're just like kind of. Um. You know. Never again going to see the others. At least from what I recall. I might be. I might have just. I rewatched the series before playing the game, but. It's also been a few months ago, so. I might be wrong <coughs> about that final um. little motion. Maybe that's why they wanted to change, to go to a new continuity. Maybe Chris was like, you know what? This one character kind of had like a really emotional story arc, and then their ending is just like low key, just like kind of tragic and not cool and sucks for them because now they're just alone or not alone but I don't know I doubt it realistically if they'd ever see the others again if they'd ever get the chance to that's my opinion I don't know I gotta rewatch the series. I gotta rewatch that finale just so I can be accurate about this. Uh, that statement. I'm trying to be vague still because I want people to watch the web series if they're watching this and they haven't. <clears throat> um, because I really love the web series. That that that's pretty near and dear to my heart. And it's been something that I haven't ever really gotten to share with my friends. Because I've just never taken the chance to.
to. <laughs> My friends at the time were... Then again, that was at the time where I was watching DBZ Abridged with my friends and all that stuff. So, and like Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged, I would show them that and they thought it was funny. So, I don't know why I never like showed this to like my core fa friend group, like the series. I guess people, I just didn't think people would resonate with it as much as I did. I don't know. Or because it was such a niche thing, I was like, ah. Uh, they're not going to be interested in it because there's not a whole lot. Although, I have never watched TV. I do. There is more than just the web series I watched because I do know there's TV Tome Adventures, which I. on Newgrounds, which. and I think it's on YouTube. I might be wrong about that. I think some of the episodes might not be on YouTube. I... that one I'm 100% I'm not sure about. But I do know that I won't watch TV Tome Adventures uh, after I've finished this game. Just to see where it all began. Because uh, I do know, like, season two of the web series kind of went back to their um, TV Tome Adventures designs, and this one uses some of the TV Tome Adventure the more TV Tome Adventure adjacent designs, like for Nylock, he looks more like his TV Tome Adventures <gasps> counterpart, it seems. There it is. The Mysterious Cube. All right. Ooh, there is more. Okay, so, what all is here? Is there any hidden treasures? We got the mysterious cube. Is that my reward? <coughs> Alright. One more room, let's see what lies through here. I wish those green tiles were more varied. They weren't just like two variations of green. All right. Well, that's it for that. I wish it, but as I was saying, like those tiles, like it had a block of green tiles, block of like those light blue tiles, and then it had like a slightly different green. It should have been purple. It should have been the purple uh, instead of a different color of green. That was just a little bit of a, once they didn't have all the walls in the way, I was like, huh, maybe, maybe we should, um, yeah. So, reaching Zen. Okay, so we've got three reaching Zens. I'm assuming we're gonna get a fourth reaching Zen from either the Z Stadium or. It'd be great if we got one from each, both the Z Stadium and the Void area. Um which we have not gone into yet. Um, uh, yeah, because I'm not sure right now. So... Alpha? Can Alpha do any elemental damage with his punches? If he's neutral, can he just use any of them? That's the that's a good question. Hold on, I'm gonna try and equip. Yeah, he can't. Okay. So I'm gonna save. And we're gonna go not to the void yet. We are going to do the Z Stadium next. And then finally the void, and then go straight into the um, secret boss. Okay. All right. I love that my controller stopped working, so I'll just run to Z Stadium 
Do you wish to be taken to the Z Stadium? Pause the recording. Yes, please. Very well. I shall transport you there. Uh, save. And run to the bathroom. So, um, I will see you guys in just a second, and we will start the Z Stadium portion of this episode. Alright, gamers. Are we ready for the Z Stadium? I think I am. Took a little bit longer to get back here. I'm working with I got all my shit put together on Discord. So all my um notifications and stuff turned on on Discord and on the app and stuff, but for some reason the phone I'm just not getting any notifications uh, from from the Discord app. Sorry, I just got a notification on Twitter. Anyways, so, going into this, who should we take? I feel like... Well, a couple people who are out of the question, I think, are Curb, Flamey, and Gamesoft. I think they are not going to be good here, because I would need more type coverage. Which these three do not provide. Tiger Lily provides coverage for grass. So we would have three out of four, but we would... Ugh. So... That means it's either Alpha or Nylock here. <sighs> ah, okay. So either Alpha or Nylock. Give it to Alpha. If I do Alpha, I can give him the Reaching Zen. I can give him Reaching Zen. So he's protected from everything. And then... Uh, I could give him... A Magic Minus. That'd be kind of good for Alpha. Then his lowest spell is like two. He has pretty low cost spells. I think. He would be able to gain us back mana much faster than like Nylock or anybody could. I don't really think. Fifty. Let's look at their stats. 50, 12, 4, 7, 2, 6, 75. God damn, Nylock, you have like no health compared to everybody else. You and Curb have comparable health. I guess you guys are both supposed to be kind of higher attack. So should I take Alpha? I think Alpha's actually, yeah, the safest bet here. So we're gonna go with our boy. Enter the arena! I thought we were only allowed to take two people! I, only th I thought I was only allowed to take one other person! Excuse me? Excuse me here? Excuse me? What is this? What? what? Uh, 
know what? This is a this is a grouping that we don't usually get. Ah, it's, yeah. Okay. So I can select all of them, but I'm not allowed to go in. Seek opponents. Oh. Oh, but I can go up against... But I can choose... Okay, so it's like the normal arena, but it's... Okay, so I can go back and I can fight anybody with whoever I want. So for this first one, they're both neutral, so it doesn't really matter. We have Astrologist and Sniperita. Okay! Alright, this is a lot different than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be like a, a, a whole, like... Thingy Majigger. I'm gonna fight these guys and then we will uh, get back to stuff. So, neutral. Both of them. Alright. Uh, summon Suntori. I'm going to summon Suntori on him because I remember him being much more of a threat than Sniperita. Um. Uh, and then Alpha, I'm gonna have you punch. Alright. Uh oh. Not the worst. Not the worst. Alright. Magic. Uh, are they immune to paralysis? Um, so, I'm gonna do Vulcan Fist. Yeah! Okay. Little Depper. Oh boy. Alright. Summon Suntory. Yes. Because then I can attack both of them. And this is the last turn that she's active anyway, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Alright, sweet. Um, I'm gonna have Alpha. You know what? No, I'm gonna have Alpha Punch. Then on my next turn... Uh-oh. Okay, so that actually means that I'm going to want to use... I'm going to use the Monarch Book, increase our defense by two, um, and then Alpha is going to go in for the strike. You can only do really physical attacks here. <coughs> Magic defense raised by two. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Uh, we got Monarch Paladin book. No. All right. I do not have anything to increase Alpha's attack, unfortunately. Uh, that actually kind of sucks a little bit, but oh well. We'll just keep Bash on Astrologist here. Magic defense is way high on this lady. We're just gonna have to hit her. Um, keep having Alpha chip away at them. Eventually, his origin shield goes away. Alright. Cool. So we can only really attack her right now. Fine. Ha! Nothing. Pathetic. Oh, 
Oh wait, this just def I've been- I could have had Alpha doing his Vulcan fist to him this whole time. Uh, I'm gonna do a lunchbox on my turn. I'm gonna have Alpha do a Vulcan fist on our boy here, cause... This thing only protects from projectiles! Alright. Oh! I think I actually have to hit his barrier to take it down, actually. I might be I might have been wrong about my assumption. Ugh. Stop. Stop. Alright, I'm just gonna you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna summon Suntori. See how much damage he does. Oh, so it only protects from one attack? Are you... Alright. Cool, <laughs> good job, bud. No, not Alpha! Fuck! Why doesn't it... Mm. Healing items should always default to the character using them. <laughs> In every game. It should default like that. I don't know why. You wouldn't do that. Alright. Uh, golden fruit, baby. On me this time, please. For fuck's sake. Hey, we did it. Uh, Alright. Alpha, get in there! I can totally make Astrologist and Hero Forge. I know the exact top that would, like, give, like, the same effect as his, like... That's really cool. I'm just sitting here thinking about it, I'm like, hmm, I could totally make this boy in Hero Forge. <laughs> God. I, for real, I, I, I have gone on record multiple times in my life, and I have, well, probably not on record, but definitely off record a few times, I have said, and now, now is on record. I would totally just buy... Like, if they release just, like, the Dragon Age Inquisition character creator for $60, I would buy it. Uh, with- it, it, it has to have a photo mode. It has to have, like, a photo mode, like, posing options and, like, clothes and all that stuff. Just give me a full doll maker with the graphical fidelity of... Fidelity. With the graphical, uh... Quality. I don't know why I was stumped on that word. Uh, the graphical quality of Dragon Age. God damn it. Alright, get up. What would be really fucked up is if they could revive each other. That's no fair! Only I'm supposed to be able to do that! Alright. It's putting fun, Asteral! Gah! But this is where we say goodbye! Vulcan Fist! <laughs> we do not get a whole lot of money for this. 
All right, well, with that said, I think this is as good a place as any to end this episode. So like, comment, subscribe if you want to share this video with someone you know, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Tome, the terrain of magical expertise, where we go through our rogues gallery uh, alongside our uh, teammates. So until then, peace.